Hello, welcome to Happy Reading with Darby G. Now that we've gotten some brand new releases, um, I want to show you all of my favorites for babies and early toddlers. And then of course some of them are great for older toddlers too. Um, first of all, we have tons of these touchy-feely books that are called the That's Not My series. This one's The Penguin and every single page features a little mouse and then some sort of texture and it has a similar rhythm. That's Not My Penguin, its wings are too velvety. It's a great vocabulary builder for even the older kids, like the toddlers I mean, and preschoolers. Um, but it's also just a really fun way for babies to start interacting with books and having stuff to look for and touch. It's a great tactile stimulation. Um, tons of titles of these guys, like tons, like two dozen and more. Um, next up, if you're on that same level, if you like things to touch and flaps, now this I would say is a, um, closer to one and up, they, there's a little questions, where's Daisy, there's only one cow, that kind of thing, and then, um, or, so simple counting, flaps to lift, and then there's textures on every page. This is one of my favorites for um, around one and up. Tons of things to look at and flaps and then of course easy counting and then other things since it's Stephen Cartwright every page features a hidden duck um, and you'll have a little extra fun looking for that sometimes the ducks behind flaps um, and other times it's just out in the open so then of course everyone's favorite series is the slide and see we have some brand new titles that have just been added um, I don't have them yet but these are bright vibrant colors cause and effect with um, those sorts of sliders, lots of fun things to teach them with um, sounds that animals make. And then there's farm version, there's under, sea, under the sea, there's a dinosaur, and zoo animals is coming soon if it's not out yet. Um, these two cloth, we've got two cloth types in our um, library now. This one has a teething ring and some things to count and play with. Um, and inside it's just really soft. There's a colors one, which is this one, and then there's a good night. Um, a, good, a day and night one. And then this is a bunny one. We have an owl version of this. These are soft. There's some crinkly things. It's cute little hush time um, words. And then it closes with the sleeping. And I know several one-year-olds um, that sleep with this. <laughs> and then for um, when your child's during tummy time, we have some fold-out books. And a new one is coming to the lineup called Things That Go. It's not quite out yet as of August 2016. But um, these are great for tummy time because they stand on their own, high contrast for even the earliest of babies. And then the other side is bright and vibrant as they get older. You can put this in their crib while they're doing tummy time or on the floor. Um, and then as they get a little older, they're gonna wanna start, you start wanting to introduce concepts to them even if they can't um, set it back to me, set it back to you, you'll have some fun introducing. Yeah. This one's colors. And there's four books in this series, colors, numbers, shapes, and then words. And then we have four types of this. Um, this is a My Farm Animal book. We have a wild animal and we have I Can Count. And then we have My First 100 Words. Um, these are little tiny books, perfect. They're called Mini Treasures. Um, this one goes through I Am A Horse, My Home Is A Stable, My Baby Is Called A Foal, I Eat Hay, and I Neigh. So it's animal sounds. And then there's a matching game. My son, my four and a half year old, still likes to play with these. And of course, he did not match them correctly, so I'm sorry. But um, that's another little game addition that you can do with that. Those make great baby shower gifts, too. So we have a brand new series called the How To Series. Um, I have one of, I, I'm missing one of them that's upstairs. I forgot to get it, but it's um, that one is How To Tuck Your Sleepy Lion In or something like that. So it's about going to bed, and this one's about feeding. This is how to bathe and then how to brush your teeth. We are getting amazing um, feedback about these books, that they're really helping toddlers and um, parents go through the typical routines because it's kind of giving them something. And one of my customers thought of a great idea. They um, purchased a little stuffed animal for each one of these, and they can only use that animal when they're doing these things. Um, so when they're sitting there eating nicely, they can hold stuffed animal when they're all done, and they do a bath, um, they can cuddle with the dinosaur, that kind of stuff. So it's just another little added idea. They're super cute, board books, so they're safe for even the littlest ones. And then this is one of my favorite series. Um, there's three versions of this book. This one's the at home. There's things that go, and then there's just a general one. Every book features double page spreads of um, scenes, lots of things to talk about. As they get older, um, great vocabulary introduction. And if you have an older sibling, they can play along and make up their own things. So they can ask their um, baby brother or baby sister, can you see um, how many bears are there? Or where are the bears, that kind of stuff. So if they can't, even if they can't read, 
they can do that. And I'm really sorry, my son's yelling, I love you mama in the background. Um, he knows I'm doing this, so he's trying to test me. <laughs> anyway, um, then this one is a brand new one that I got. This has been, we've had this for a while. I didn't know this existed and I just happened to find it. Um, and I'm ecstatic about it. So it's a lot of vocabulary, fun vocabulary to add and lots of things to talk about. My four and a half year old was even having fun with this. So um, they talk about numbers and all that. So I definitely encourage you to put this on the list if you have a child that's getting near the stage of starting to talk and point. It's an awesome one to have. And that concludes some of my favorites for the babies and toddlers. Happy reading.